Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Comprehensive. Problem Gods Come from Arcadia. Chapter 51. No dot name reservoir. Above the dry and cracked soil is a cross-shaped aisle, and in the center of the aisle is a stone pavilion. In the center of the stone pavilion, Su Jin placed the saplings whose roots were soaked in water polo on the central stone platform. This is where the water curry is specially used to place boons. In the past, there was even a water attribute gift with a four-digit evaluation, which could directly drain water from the heaven and introduce the water from the heavenly spring into the human world. However, after the devil attacked, the gifts here were naturally taken away by the devil. Along with the gift being put into the stone platform, under the invisible light, streams of clear water immediately gathered under the water tree, and then flowed into the reservoir from the various openings on the stone platform. Seeing this scene, the black rabbit couldn't help opening his eyes wide, reached out to hold a handful of water, and said pleasantly after drinking. It's so pure, it's spiritual water. Where did you get it? At this time, Su Jin who was standing aside replied. The water god of the waterfall at the end, I have passed her test. How can you go to provoke the water god there for no reason? How dangerous. The black rabbit complained softly, and then, looking at the reservoir that was gradually being filled with water, said, 277, with a happy face. If there is running water of this purity, we can consider asking the regional rulers to transfer our pastures and farms to nearby land. In this way, the grain and dairy cows produced can be of extremely high quality. Thinking of this, Haidu's eyes were full of anticipation, and words such as Lingmi and high-grade milk occupied his mind. If you are not in charge of a family, you don't know how much money is needed, and when you think that the basic supplies will be gradually resolved, Haidu's heart is filled with hope. But Su Jin shrugged and said, For me, it would be great if I don't have to boil the bath water myself. After Arcadia was run down, even water had to be carried several kilometers away, let alone bathing. Basically, they are all treated with the cleansing gifts bought by Haidu. Although it is quite clean, but it lacks the taste of life. At this time, the black rabbit next to him said blankly, I seem to be preparing most of the bath water, right? I was a sick person at that time, wasn't I? Su Jin said with confidence. Seeing this, the black rabbit chuckled. I didn't say I was tired. Hearing this, Su Jin looked at Hei Tu and didn't speak. But at this moment, there was a fluctuation in the space, Su Jin frowned, and immediately stood in front of Hei Mian. In the atmosphere, circles of ripples suddenly appeared. Immediately afterwards, with a scream of, ah, a figure fell on Su Jin's side. Immediately afterwards, on the other side of the ripples, came by Yecha's sneer. You little brat, just stay there for us. No, Mushin. When the figure got up, there was a horrible cry, and it reached out to grab the ripples in the entire circle of space. However, the ripples quickly disappeared without a trace. At this moment, at the moment when the space was derived, Leticia came to float in midair, and said in a suspicious tone. Is that the voice of Lord by Yecha? Obviously her. Su Jin next to him sighed. But the black rabbit paused, and poked the figure bowing on the ground with its buttocks up with its fingers. What for? Rabbit. No, moon rabbit. The figure who fell on the ground immediately got up and said with a surprised face. At this time, Su Jin also saw clearly the appearance of the visitor. It was a woman with a pair of ghost horns on her head, a short ponytail, and a delicate and beautiful face. She is wearing a plain white and blue kimono, but her lower body is strangely matched with suspenders. While the clothes are strange, they also have an inexplicable sense of romance. This kind of clothes. Haitu looked at the other person's clothes, with a feeling of sympathy, are you by Yecha's subordinate? Since Haitu was a child, by Yecha used similar clothes to lure her into wearing cute clothes. Although they were rarely seen when she grew up, when she saw them at this time, she felt inexplicable mixed feelings. You can tell at a glance. The other party pointed to the ghost horn of the same style as by Yecha on his finger, and said sadly. The Lord God actually sent me here because of a defeat. It's obviously a devil who is too cunning. It's not that I'm not good enough. Su Jin, who is a devil, frowned, and then said with a smile. This lady, do you know how to address her? Just call me Bai Shui Ji, you are members of no, name, right. When Bai Shui Ji said this, she suddenly became angry. 
By the way, I'm here as an offering, understand? Just don't look for me if you have something to do, and don't look for me if you have nothing to do. You need to wait on me every day. Of course, as a price, as long as it is a five-figure enemy, I will help you solve it. At this time, Su Jin looked around and said with a blank face, what is she here for? In the invisible atmosphere, a voice sounded, but it was the voice of Bai Yecha. Come to be Letitia's target. Oh no, apprentice, well, let's be an apprentice, just don't kill me. Master Lord God, Bai Shuiji's face was pale, and she said tremblingly. You, haven't you used it yet? Yeah, I'm watching from the station. A playful voice sounded, and then, Bai Yecha suddenly said with a smile. By the way, Su Jin, you are also our god, right? Ah, Su Jin responded. At this time, Su Jin clearly saw Bai Shuiji's eyes lit up with ten eager expressions. That appearance, as if to let Su Jin take the initiative to say hello to her senior, as if she had found her younger brother. At this time, there was the sound of folding fans spreading all around. Well, it seems that we didn't give you any presents. If that's the case, we will give you Bai Shuiji today as a god. Huh, Bai Shuiji was dumbfounded. Is it God's gift to others? Wait a minute, the man in front of you is Master Bai Yecha's God, and she will become the other's God. Doesn't that mean that she suddenly became a subordinate little sister from her senior big sister? Don't play with people like this. Hearing this, Su Jin frowned, and looked at Leticia and Hei Tu next to her. Both of them exchanged glances, indicating that he agreed to come down. Seeing this, Su Jin shrugged and said, Okay. But since she belongs to God, then I should be able to deal with her at will, right? Yes, as long as you lift up her strength, everything will be easy to say. Bai Yi said so, and then said directly, That's it, Athena invited us to the banquet, hang up first. The words fell, and the spatial fluctuations disappeared. Bai Shui Ji was immediately surrounded by Su Jin, Leticia, and Hai Du. You, what do you want to do? The weak and pitiful Bai Shuiji trembled in front of the three, villains. At this time, Su Jin asked Haitu, what's the use of 50,000 dragon species? Excrement can promote plant growth, teeth can be buried in the ground to produce dragon tooth rice, blood can be enchanted, and saliva can be combined with special trees to produce ambergris. Oh, she seems to be an oriental dragon, so it should be able to create the characteristics of good weather in a small area and speed up the growth of plants. Quote. At the end, the black rabbit's eyes immediately began to light up. Bleeding or something, isn't it a little too much? Bai Shuiji was about to cry. At this time, Leticia next to her said calmly, During training, injuries are inevitable. Hearing this, Bai Shuiji's complexion was a little paler than her name. Speaking of, Su Jin rubbed his chin and asked doubtfully, Didn't you recognize me? Bai Shuiji froze for a moment then looked at Su Jin carefully, and then she was dumbfounded. You man, you are the devil in the morning. Yo, remember. Su Jin smiled, then turned to look at Hei Fang and said. If one belongs to God, how can he be punished if he insults the Lord God? Skinning and bloodletting. No, no, it must be used sustainably. The black rabbit murmured in a low voice. Seeing this, Su Jin turned his head, looked at the pale Bai Shui Ji, patted her on the shoulder and said. How about we get along well, my lady of God? Okay, okay. Bai Shui Ji nodded dully, but she was a little scared. Seeing this, the three villains next to him laughed together. Evening. 1.6 After arranging Bai Shui Ji's residence and work content, Su Jin and Leticia walked side by side in the aisle. To be honest, I'm a little surprised. I didn't expect Duan Yi to be very good at frightening children, Master Judisha. Your suffix can be omitted. Leticia said so, and said with a slight smile. Speaking of which, the snake god is just a child. This kind of child will be obedient after being frightened a little. This is experience. Hearing this sentence, Su Jin couldn't help but smile. That poor snake god will cry if you say that. Dragon's tears are also a kind of special medicine. Leticia said playfully. The two stopped suddenly and laughed a few times. Then, Leticia narrowed her eyes slightly and said. Speaking of which, I deliberately found this time to be alone, is there something wrong? Su Jin paused, turned his head and said. I want to use the, request, you promised earlier. What request? 
Leticia was a little surprised. At this time, Su Jin said seriously. Fully assist me to challenge the Perseus trials to seize the sovereignty of Leticia Dirk Rea. Leticia stared intently at Su Jin in front of her, watching that he was going to light the parchment symbolizing a promise. Are you joking? Leticia said in a serious tone. If it's a joke, I can recreate a contract. The gift document after use will take effect as soon as possible. This is the rule of the Hakoniwa Center. Su Jin looked at Leticia calmly and explained. Therefore, even if you make another gift document, the conditions that take effect must still be implemented. I can postpone this condition indefinitely. Leticia just answered this sentence, and then fell silent for a while, showing a helpless expression. You are ten times more impatient than what Canary said, no, maybe a hundred times more. After finishing speaking, she sighed, shook her head, and let go of the worries in her heart. Are you sure you want to adjust Perseus's trial? Certainly. Su Jin nodded, then stretched out her hand, inviting Leticia. I need the information about Perseus' trial, all the information. Trial of Perseus. It is one of the trials of heroes under the 27 genus of the three-digit Greek pantheon. Perseus, Hercules, Agrus, these well-known heroes in Greek mythology left behind the inheritance trials, which are the so-called hero trials. In this kind of gift game, all that is required is to complete the trials that are equivalent to the inheritance of heroes. Correspondingly, challengers who complete the trial can obtain a commitment to the community. As long as it is within the scope of execution, the challenger who has completed the trial can ask the corresponding community to complete his request. The scope of these requests naturally includes the matter of transferring Leticia Dirk Reyes' subordination to Su Jin. That's why Su Jin said that Leticia should fully cooperate with him to win the Perseus trial. This is currently the most promising way to get Leticia out of trouble. However, Leticia herself is not optimistic about this. You should understand, what are you going to face in the Perseus trial? No. Su Jin looked serious and said in a low tone. The so-called trial is to complete the achievements of heroes. In the trial of Perseus, the greatest achievement of the hero Perseus was to kill the Banshee Medusa. Hearing this, Leticia sighed, looked at Su Jin with a strange look and said. Do you know who Medusa is? Su Jin raised the corners of his mouth, and said with care like gold, the magic star Al Gore. Three-digit Protoss in Almighty Domain. It's not that exaggerated. Leticia held her forehead and said with a slight headache. To be precise, it should be Medusa, a god who belongs to the Greek gods, whose strength is probably in the four digits. When she said this, she smiled wryly and said. However, the current leader of Perseus, Ashlea Perseus, is the granddaughter of the god Perseus. She is a demigod who was born by distorting the laws. Her strength has been cultivated for a long time, and she has reached the level of four, levels of numbers. Based on her character, the Perseus trial is completely different from the past, focusing more on force. That is to say, if you want to challenge the Perseus trial, you will have to face a four-figure Metis holder. I'm afraid, even if the spirit is sealed, Medusa is still at the top four-digit level, and what you have to do is to defeat her head-on with a high probability. For you, this challenge is too difficult, almost impossible, so let's give up. How will you know if you don't try? Su Jin narrowed his eyes and said with a smile. Try once, there is a gap between the groups. The cost of challenging Perseus' trial is too high. Leticia also wanted to persuade Su Jin. At this time, Su Jin said. Then take, water tree, is the challenge fee, is that enough? Leticia paused and said. If the challenge fails, the challenge deposit will not be refunded. At this time, Su Jin smiled and said. If you fail, keep working hard and prepare for the next time. At my age, it is normal to experience failure, right? I can't convince you. Leticia shook her head and said helplessly. According to the effectiveness of the gift document, I will try my best to win you the permission to challenge the Perseus trial. As for the rest, it can only be up to you. That's it. Su Jin, who persuaded Leticia, smiled easily. When will the challenge start? At this time, Leticia's bat wings appeared behind her, floating in midair. The sooner the better. Su Jin knew that the most feared thing about this kind of thing was long nights and dreams. Even if Perseus may not do anything to Leticia, 
but the ownership is not in their hands, they can do whatever they want, which is too dangerous for Leticia. What kind of cards are you hiding? Leticia was somewhat disregarding the rules, and asked Su Jindao. In Hakoniwa, it is very taboo to actively ask about other people's gifts and whole cards, and it is easy to be hostile. Seeing this, Su Jin frowned, but she was ready to show her confidence. However, after Leticia finished speaking, she voluntarily disappeared in front of Su Jin. She regained her sanity but understood that Su Jin can show her, but it doesn't mean she has to see it. Sometimes, it is also a knight's responsibility to protect the secrets of gifts for his companions. And the best protection is that even she doesn't know the name and function of the gift. Seeing Leticia leave, Su Jin, who understood that she was going to apply for the right to challenge Perseus, was slightly relieved. 810. Are you facing the demon star Al Gore? Although it is dangerous, at least there is still room for manipulation. Not only because Al Gore only has four-digit strength now, but also because Su Jin understands what the magic star desires most now. Is it a gamble? Su Jin narrowed his eyes, thought for a moment, and then made up his mind. Night. After Su Jin fell asleep, amidst the gathering of black bats, Letitia's figure appeared beside Su Jin's bed. At this time, Su Jin also opened his eyes and sat up, it's faster than I thought. Yes, I didn't expect that Ashley of Perseus would agree so soon. Leticia sighed, but threw the water tree beside Su Jin. She didn't charge for the challenge. Huh, Su Jin raised her eyebrows, but looked at Leticia puzzled. At this time, Leticia said with a slight smile. She said she owed Canary 20 favors, but she used up one. Dot 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 quote. The corner of Su Jin's mouth twitched fiercely a few times. Owing 20 favors, should it be said that he is the former chief of staff? This ability is really strong. However, is he being bought and sold by force? Thinking of this, Su Jin smiled, stood up, put on his coat and said. Go, go to the headquarters of Perseus. Perseus Station. A female knight with blonde hair as bright as gold, which was folded behind her head, was walking into the wide passage. On the road, all members of Perseus who met the young knight stopped and bowed to her to show their respect. Ashley of Perseus, less than 1,600 years old, he had inherited the community of Perseus and grown it to a four-figure leader. Even the descendants of the god Perseus pay high respect to this heroic leader. This point, even Luo C. Perseus is no exception. However, as Ashley's nephew, Luo Si, who has also faintly become the heir in recent years, couldn't help questioning Ashley's decision at this time. Master Ashley, why did you agree to a community that doesn't even have a name? Luo Si, who was following Ashley, protested logically. According to Hakoniwa's regulations, the nameless community is not eligible to participate in the Perseus trial. Not to mention, actually making an excessive request to take back the Hakoniwa knight ownership. This is against the law appointed by the gods. Ashley, who was walking in front, said without looking back, You are wrong, Luo Si, didn't they use the banner of Megalodon? Hearing this, Luo Si's face was faintly distorted. That seven-figure community, an unknown little leader, how can he be qualified to challenge the trials at the level of gods and Buddhas? Ashley in front stopped, turned her head, and glanced at Luo Si. Luo's, don't forget, Arcadia has only been destroyed for half a year. If it was Arcadia in its heyday, would you dare to speak like that? Hearing this sentence, Luo O suddenly seemed to choke, unable to speak. Takaaki Kasukabe, former leader of Arcadia. That is the first class strength among the four digits, faintly approaching the level of the great father Zeus. What kind of level is that? A level that can compete with the three-digit all-around field for a short time without falling behind. This is a world under three digits in Hakoniwa. Such a strong man can only be described in two words. Invincible. If Takaaki Kasukabe was face-to-face, -face, Luosi really wouldn't dare to say a word. However, who let the current hand is a newcomer who is not well-known. According to the rules after the defeat of Hakoniwa, I am afraid that no, name does not even have five digits, and the leader is probably just a kid who has just grown up. Thinking of this, Oss sighed. Those people are just, beggars, who want to cheat away the key combat power less than. Lord Ashley, as you know, we are challenging the qualifications of regional rulers. 
Once we become regional rulers, Perseus will rule the entire outer sect. This is a four-figure outer sect. Lord Ashlia, at this critical moment, we decided not to waste any combat power. It's kind of like Letitia's cooperation. Ashley sighed, then turned her head, and Light looked at Luo C calmly and said. Luo's, if a person only has interests in his eyes, what would he be? What? Luo C was stunned for a moment, and then said with a strange expression, should be a qualified leader, after all, he can clearly see the division of interests. You think so? Ashley sighed, then stepped forward again, and said in a flat tone. In my opinion, that kind of person is just a beast in human skin. Lord Ashlia, Luosi's face was slightly distorted. At this time, Ashlia pointed to the front door and said. Okay, let's end this topic, I'm going to meet the guests. Hearing this, Luosi shut his mouth tactfully, but followed behind Ashlia cautiously. In the simple and solemn hall of the temple, Su Jin and Leticia, who were welcomed here by the attendants, sat on the second seat, waiting for the arrival of the master. They didn't have to wait long and almost when the attendants brought up fresh melons and fruits, the position behind the main seat opened. Ashlia and his follower Luos came out. It seems that you look good, teacher Tisha. As soon as Ashlia stepped into the hall, before she sat down, she smiled at Leticia. I only taught you spear skills for a short time, so you don't have to be so polite. Leticia stood up, tactfully keeping her distance. At this time, she must stand firmly in Su Jin's position and act as a challenger. I'm not talking politely. Ashlia smiled indifferently, then turned her gaze, looked at Su Jin and said. Is this the new leader of No, Name, Mr. Su Jin? I heard Master Bai Yecha said about you, and you are the only person who has been accepted as a god by that lord in the past thousand years. Luo Si next to him beeped softly. What's so great about being a god, Bai Yecha has converted to Buddhism. Ashlia gave Luo Si a sideways glance, and when the other party was too scared to continue talking, she turned her head and said with a smile. This is my deputy, my cousin's son Luospasius. It's a pleasure to meet you. Su Jin smiled and said. Mr. Luo Si is really a good-looking talent. The cruel and lustful rumors in the market are really just malicious slanders from people with a heart. Cruel and lustful. Ashlia gave Luo Si a strange look. Nonsense, aunt, you taught me to be an upright knight since I was a child. How could I do such crooked things? Luo Si's face turned pale at this time, not because the secret was discovered, but because he was angry after knowing that he had been maliciously slandered. To say that he is cruel and lecherous. Although the ancestors of Perseus in the previous generation were indeed like this, the leader of this generation, Ashlia, was not. At this time, saying that he is cruel and lustful, isn't that giving him eye drops. And this person also knows that their Perseus family does have such a cruel and lustful history, so he specially prescribes the right medicine. Is this the filthy water poured by that turtle grandson? Isn't it harmful? Asterisk. Ashlia looked a little suspicious, but in the end she sat on unknown, patted the table and said. I believe you. After all, before his grandfather died, he said that his great-grandson Luz was still a virgin, and that he, the son of Zeus, would not die with peace. Luosi's face suddenly turned a liver color. This kind of thing can also be talked about. If you are not my aunt, believe it or not, I will rush up and beat you for three seconds, and you will kneel on the ground, begging me not to die. But at this time, Su Jin on the opposite side looked at Lucy Gu Qian Zhao and felt that time was tricking people. Who would have known that the brutal, Lecherous and brain-dead Lewis in the original book is actually a knight with an evil spirit. Although it is still a bit like a villain, at least it is not the kind of brainless and lustful villain, which is already a big difference. So, did Perseus experience some kind of fiasco like Arcadia, which led to the change? While Su Jin was thinking, Ashlia on the main seat laughed a few times, folded her hands on her chin, and her face gradually became serious. Let me confirm again, Mr. Su Jin, do you really want to challenge our community's hero trial? Hearing this, under the watchful eyes of Luo Si and Leticia, Su Jin closed her eyes, and when she opened them again, she had a smile on her face. I'm sure. Very good. Alicia took out the token of the Perseus community, and painted a golden shield with the head of the Gorgon on one side. Then, I wish you prosperous martial arts.
Next moment. Dizzy. The scene changes. Gloomy clouds appeared in the sky, and the originally simple and solemn hall of the temple also changed its style, becoming extravagant, beautiful and luxurious. At this time, Su Jin understood that he had entered a dedicated game field. In Hakoniwa, existences with numbers above four would basically create their own game field, in order to obtain the bonus of the spirit level and exert greater power. This kind of game field is as small as a city, as large as a planet, or even a small galaxy, but it is extremely heroic. But this time, the gift game field of the Perseus trial was not big. Su Jin sensed it and determined that it was only the size of Tokyo, 2,000 square kilometers. However, the 2,000 evenly divided kilometers were all used to hook a palace. Judging from any one of the palace's load-bearing pillars, which are inlaid with gold and silver, and covered with diamonds, the luxury of this palace can be seen. Seeing this scene, Su Jin held his breath slightly, but he felt his surroundings carefully, waiting for the communication from the outside world. Not long after, the voice of Ashley of Perseus that I heard before sounded. Let me briefly talk about the content of the trial. In this palace, there are four artifacts obtained by my ancestor, Perseus, which are the invisible helmet of Attis, the flying boots of Hermes, the shield of Athena, and the magic bag of Forcus. Quote. Use one or more of the artifacts to defeat the 850 Medusa in the palace, and you will win the game. Otherwise, you will lose if you are petrified by Medusa. The above is the content of the trial, I wish you a prosperous martial arts. Ashley's voice disappeared, and Su Jin also sensed that the space around her had truly merged into the game field. After completely entering the game field, a terrifying aura as violent as a hurricane and thick as Mount Tai came from the east. That was the arrogance of the magic star Al Gore. This power. Su Jin's eyelids twitched wildly from the sudden breath. Instead, he saw gemstones on the surrounding walls and stone pillars blinking at him as if they had become the eyes of monsters. The arrogance exuded by Al Gore made the dead things around him acquire spiritual ranks and become newborn demons. This ancient Protoss, once named Lilith, even controlled the origin of some demons in the past. It is not an exaggeration to say that Al Gore is the ancestor of demons. Because of this, Al Gore has the terrifying authority to demonize all things. Of course, since the Ling was sealed, the power of Al Gore's authority was naturally limited to the four-digit range. But even so, with the release of the breath CHFC, the dead things around will gradually form demons, and continue to grow. If it is slower, it is very likely that all the dead things will turn into five-figure demons and bury Su Jin in the sea of demons. That is to say, must a quick decision be made. Su Jin immediately felt that it was tricky, especially tricky. Challenging a former three-digit, now four-digit god and Buddha, and succeeding in a short period of time, this simply does not give people a way out. At least the trials that Perseus actually completed were definitely not so difficult. So, next, what to do? Can the original plan be executed? Su Jin stood where he was, his eyes flickering. Inside the ancient temple, Ashlea sat on the main seat, but chatted with Leticia. It's too risky to challenge with five-digit strength, teacher Leticia, why? When Ashlea said this, she said with a little embarrassment. When my grandfather defeated Lord Argor, he borrowed the power of the Greek gods to use many tricks, but now, there are no gods to protect the tester. The difficulty of the Perseus trial is even higher than that of Hercules, and this news is no longer a secret in Little Garden. So few people will come to the community Perseus to challenge the hero test. The benefits are not large, but the danger is too great. This is the general impression of the four-digit upper class on the Perseus trial. It is precisely because of this that Ashlea is not optimistic about Su Jin. At this time, Luo Si on the side said arrogantly. HMPH, it's wishful thinking for a five-figure figure to defeat the demon star. I hope he is smarter and chooses to force his way through by force, so that death will be more comfortable. Luo's. Ashley frowned and scolded, but at this time, Luo Si bowed slightly, as an apology to the two ladies present for his rudeness. As for Su Jin, a person who is bound to fail, there is no value for him to care about. Leticia, who was sitting across from Ashley, picked up the wine glass, took a sip, and sighed, but said her thoughts truthfully. Rationality tells me that this matter is impossible to succeed, 
but emotion tells me that it's better to be self-willed with Su Jin. This person seems to have inexplicable confidence, which makes people subconsciously believe that he can create miracles. Speaking of this, Leticia smiled and said, 200 years ago, Canary said that Arcadia would eventually flourish and decline. At that time, I didn't believe it. Then there was a war with the evil dragon, and more than nine layers of combat power were lost. And 200 years later, Canary told me that the chance of Arcadia's revival lies in the generation of Su Jin and Black Rabbit. This time, I was dubious. But not so long ago, my mind changed. Ashlea raised her pretty eyebrows, and said with a little surprise, what's the reason? Leticia raised her hands and said with a bold smile, it only took him 10 seconds to learn the skill. In less than 10 seconds, I can master the technique of calming the space, which is beyond my imagination. Luos who was next to him suddenly said in astonishment, are you sure you're not drunk and talking nonsense? 10 seconds. This kind of learning ability. Ashlea was somewhat convinced. Otherwise, Leticia would not have brought Su Jin to challenge Perseus in just a few days. Thinking of this, Ashley sighed softly. I'm afraid only three-digit omniscience can do this, and they must be special existences on the path of omniscience. Luo C next to him didn't believe it. It's hard to imagine that you, leader, would actually listen to such nonsense. How can a mere five-figure quasi-god have the characteristics of those big men? Leticia didn't care about Luosi's words, this kind of thing can only be understood after seeing it for herself. There is real inequality between people. At this time, Ashlea chuckled and toasted a glass of wine. I believe what you said, teacher, but I don't believe that he can pass the test now. I don't believe it either. Leticia smiled and sighed. But I look forward to that scene happening. Unreasonable. Luo C next to him was unable to calm down because of the weird behavior of the two. Inside the proving ground, Su Jin, who just thought about it for a while, met the final demon king at the novice's birthplace. Outside the open door, a purple-haired girl in a strapless leather jacket with a restraint belt on her body had one hand on her hips, holding a small mirror the size of a palm, curling her hair with her fingers, and said in a calm tone. Is that you, Al Chan's challenger today? The magic star Al Gore appeared in front of Su Jin. Seeing the sudden appearance, Su Jin's pupils shrank slightly, but the whole person calmed down strangely. At this time, Al Gore was arranging his hair, looking left and right in the mirror, and after confirming that the degree of curvature of the hair was satisfactory, he put his hands on his hips, looked at the mirror again and again, and turned his head again and again. Why, don't you talk? Only then did she notice Su Jin's appearance, raised her eyes slightly and said. It's not bad, if you kneel down and beg for mercy, Al Chan will give you a way to survive. But she had the desire to play with her prey. Few people challenge the game field that restrains her, and she is the only one here on weekdays. Although it is not impossible to create a demon to relieve boredom, but the demons created by oneself can be entertained by real people. Play around for a while, kill before it crashes, that's what Al Gore thinks now. Pure cruelty like cats. At this time, Su Jin, who was supposed to react, sat down straight, with his left leg bent and his right foot raised. He looked at Al Gore in front of him, looked at her calmly and said. Let's talk. Al Gore paused for a moment, tilted his head slightly, obviously very short, but gave a condescending sense of looking down. Did you not understand the situation? She looked down at Su Jin, with a lingering indifference in her golden pupils. Al Chan doesn't want to talk to the ugly ghost. Words fell. The surrounding floor tiles suddenly began to vibrate. Starting from Al Gore as the center, the entire ground of the palace was endowed with the gift of demonization. And among them, there is naturally Su Jin. Brush. Su Jin resorted to ringing again and again, quietly avoiding all the bestowals and the demonization bestowed by Al Gore. After flashing for 20 seconds, he reappeared on the spot, stepped on the slate demon, sat down, bent his left leg, raised his right foot, and looked directly at Al Gore. First, Su Jin said so, and then said calmly. Let's talk. Huh? Who? Al Gore's voice suddenly rose, and at this moment, she finally shifted her gaze from the mirror, looked at Su Jin and said. Spiritual status with a little realm, how dare to be rampant in front of me. Little guy, didn't your elders tell you to respect those in high positions? 
Saying this, Al Gore locked his eyes on Su Jin. At this time, she raised the corners of her mouth and said with a little daring to laugh. If you have the ability, take another look. At this moment, Al Gore's eyes were filled with darkness. But it directly targeted Su Jin and launched the demonization endowment. Perceiving this scene, Su Jin drew out the Zanpakuto immediately, and directly liberated Shi Ji. Land over in Vientiane, Bai Yi. The moment the demonization was bestowed on Su Jin, his body suddenly transformed into a ghost under the influence of Bai Yi. Zilazila. Turning into a ghost and turning into a demon, the two used Su Jin's body as a battlefield to fight in the spirit grid. At this moment, half of Su Jin's body turned into a ghost and half into a demon, and even at this moment, his human factors became blurred. However, at this moment, the collapsed jade in Su Jin's soul flickered slightly. In an instant, the demonization stopped, and the power from Zanpakuto gained the upper hand. Soon, Su Jin turned into that silver-haired, black-horned, stern-faced Dongzong posture again. His body, which was deformed by demonization, folded back again, his left leg was bent, his right foot was erected, and he looked at Al Gore calmly and said. The second time, like an indifferent machine, Su Jin asked again. Let's talk. This time, Al Gore raised his eyebrows, looked at Su Jin seriously and said. This posture, this breath. Are you the illegitimate son of Bai Yecha? Or are you subordinate to God? Su Jin had no intention of answering, but looked directly at Al Gore. Seeing this, Al Gordon understood that Su Jin refused to answer all her questions before agreeing to negotiate. Realizing this, Al Gore laughed out of anger. Is it because Al Gore can't hold the knife anymore, or is the little garden outside still floating like this? How many five-figure figures dare to treat themselves like this? Even if this five-digit ability is a bit strange, even if this five-digit is by Yecha's subordinate god. But Al Gore was really a little angry this time. Al Chan is angry. An impolite person like you should be turned into a stone by Al Chan and trampled under his feet. Accompanied by such words, Al Gore's dark eyes suddenly focused on Su Jin's face. Medusa's petrification, activation. In an instant, there was a sizzle. It was Su Jin's face that immediately turned into cement, bright and gray. This is the gift that endows all things with a petrified spirit, and it is also the reason why Al Gore was split into the Medusa, Godhead. And at this moment, Su Jin liberated Beng Yu to the greatest extent. At this moment, Su Jin's eyes seemed to have fallen into an abyss, becoming as black as ink, but his pupils were like gemstones, showing a blue-purple color. The process of petrification gradually slowed down and faded under Al Gore's surprised eyes. In the end, her petrification ability seemed to be ineffective, and quickly faded until it disappeared. My petrification is actually controlled by others. Al Gore said in a surprised tone. Even if she was limited by her spiritual status, she didn't go all out. Zero. But the move of petrification just now, the four-digit figure is absolutely unable to resist. Then why, Su Jin, a five-figure figure, can block her gift, and even take over her petrification? Does this person have the gift of the highest four-digit level? Al Gore looked at Su Jin in silence. This time, she didn't have any disgust because of Su Jin's eyes. Instead, she watched Su Jin quietly, and met his gaze. After Shi Hua was controlled, Su Jin readjusted his posture and said calmly. The third time, let's talk. Hearing this sentence, Al Gore put away the mirror and finally officially confirmed the existence of Su Jin. In any case, if he dared to bear her attack head on, even if it was only a weakened attack, but Su Jin dared to bear it head on, Al Gore was willing to give her approval instead of treating him like a pig. You want to talk to me about that? Seeing this, Su Jin didn't answer, but slowly closed his eyes, and when he opened them again, his expression was indifferent. Free. Al Gore sneered directly, but he didn't believe that Su Jin could give her freedom at all. Or beauty. Now, Al Gore raised his eyebrows, showing a look of interest. As one of the oldest beauty gods, she has extremely strict requirements and yearning for her appearance. At this time, when Su Jin mentioned this, she was suddenly very curious and said. Shall we talk about beauty? Su Jin glanced at her, nodded slightly and said. Good for. Al Gore tapped the floor with his toes, and the ordinary stone slabs twisted and deformed in the air, finally forming a grey throne. 
She sat down on the throne, took out the mirror and straightened her hair, and after confirming that the angle was perfect, she turned her head, looked at Su Jin and said. Sa, what did you bring Al Chan? Is it the latest cosmetics from the North District, or a new beauty pill from the East District? If that's all, then let's end our conversation like this. Although she recognized that Su Jin was qualified to talk to her, it didn't mean that she would really accept Su Jin's conditions. Although he was defeated by the Greek gods, he was sealed and downgraded to Medusa, and he was still guarded by the community Perseus. But it does not mean that Al Gore has no understanding of the outside world. Every one or two months, the members of Perseus will collect some items related to beauty and supply them to Al Gore. On the one hand, it was to appease her and prevent the demon star from rioting. Therefore, Al Gore is no stranger to external products. Even afraid of wasting time, she directly asked Su Jin if she wanted to trade with the latest products. After all, she has used the old ones, but basically discarded them after use. Because in Al Gore's view, he had tried medicine repairs and transformations before, but they were completely unable to meet her requirements. And if what Su Jin wants to give is also this kind of thing, then don't blame her for being businesslike and just end the trial. At this time, Su Jin raised his eyelids slightly, and said coldly. Instead of me saying it orally, why don't you feel it yourself? Su Jin understands that playing tricks with an old man like Al Gore is definitely a dead end. So from the beginning, he planned to, fair deal, with the other party. So after he finished speaking, he let go of the restraint on Beng Yu's power. At this moment, Beng Yu's ability to occupy the hearts of the surrounding beings and guide Xiao Wang was activated naturally. Um, Al Gore suddenly paused, put down the mirror in his hand, but noticed the existence of Beng Yu. She closed her eyes and sensed her surroundings. This power, the spiritual dragon in the west the praying lamp in the south, or, the holy grail of Yahweh. After counting similar forces in detail, Al Gore understood that this force was completely different from the above-mentioned ones. It was at this moment that she simply let go of part of her mind and allowed Beng Yu's power to enter, and immediately, she noticed the change. Al Gore quickly picked up the small mirror and looked at his face, his eyes gradually brightened. Hey, the skin darkens a little, and it suddenly reaches the perfect radiance I want. I clearly calculated that it will take a thousand years of maintenance. Seeing the effect of the collapsed jade, Al Gore's eyes suddenly became excited. She suddenly raised her head, looked at Su Jin, and said with burning eyes. Is this your bestowed ability? Can it actually change my Protoss physique? You really only want to be beautiful in your heart. Su Jin slandered in her heart. Beng Yu is able to quickly fulfill other people's wishes under limited conditions, which Su Jin knows well. But he didn't expect that the deepest wish in the sealed Al Gore's heart was actually beauty. He thought he was free. However, facing Al Gore's inquiry, Su Jin still nodded and said. That's right. Su Jin was not afraid that Al Gore would rob him of his gifts, because gifts like Beng Yu had already been bound to him, and without his permission, it was impossible for others to use them. This point is the same even if the Demon King's Snatch Authority is the same. Otherwise, after Leticia was taken away, the enemy would not choose to auction, but would take away all the gifts and cultivate an obedient purebred vampire. Does your gift sell? Al Gore's expression became excited. Godhead, power, and even authority, I can trade them. If not, just ask for whatever you want. After Su Jin heard it, the corners of his mouth twitched, his heart moved, but he restrained himself. This gift cannot be traded. Beng Yu is his biggest help at present, and it is the guarantee leading to three digits. Therefore, he will definitely not sell it. Inborn talent. Al Gore seemed to understand something, and said with some disappointment. But after thinking about it, she felt a burst of greed in her heart, greed for Su Jin. Are you the god of that by Yecha? How about it, are you interested in changing jobs? As long as you want, even that ugly girl of Athena, I can send it to your bed. If the gift is not available, Al Gore is trying to dig people out, and it is still the most brutal temptation. And it's alluring. The devil's intuition told Al Gore that beauty can work on Su Jin, and if beauty is tempting, there is nothing better than Athena. With a noble status, great strength and great popularity, besides being uglier than Al Gore and having a bad temper, Athena is really suitable for being a commodity. 
After hearing this, Su Jin had nothing to say. It was necessary for him to stop Al Gore from going crazy and let her continue talking nonsense. He doubted that a certain Greek virgin who might be monitoring the magic star would not be able to resist. I've offered a bargaining chip. After he finished speaking, Al Gore said with a look of regret. Sure enough, Athena's blue pool is still not as beautiful as mine. Then, Al Gore waved his hands a little boredly and said. Well, Al Chan has approved this transaction, you can leave safely. Hearing this, Su Jin frowned slightly and said. What I want is victory. Al Gordon paused, then turned his head to look at Su Jin. You mean to ask Al to hold a fake exhibition? She looked at Su Jin playfully, her eyes narrowed slightly, and an arc flashed in her pupils. Su Jin frowned, but just when he thought Al Gore was going to attack, he heard a playful voice. Sure enough, the highest level of deception, you little guy is definitely the illegitimate son of that Bayecha. No, it should be the god she found. After all, although that guy is a bit ugly, he is also a beauty-loving person. If you have this ability, it is normal for her to take you by force. Hearing Al Gore's strange words, Su Jin's eyelids twitched, but he didn't say anything. And at this moment, he realized that Al Gore was just using his power to check his gift. Fortunately, Beng Yu was indeed a gift bound by him, so it was not seen through. However, this also proved Su Jin's previous guess. Although old antiques like Al Gore seem inconspicuous, but if you really want to trick them, you may not be able to find any pants that you will lose. It is these people who are said to be mature. But at this time, Al Gore was holding a mirror, looking at his own face and saying. If you want me to fail miserably, that just now is not enough. She thought for a while, then looked at Su Jin and said. You just said, freedom, didn't you? 1.6 inches exactly. Su Jin nodded, and the next second, he met Al Gore's eyes. Power, demon. A power suddenly appeared in Su Jin's mind. Immediately afterwards, he groaned, covered his head, and squatted on the ground. At this time, Al Gore, who was opposite, laughed. You just paid the chip in advance, so in return, Al Chan should also pay the chip. Su Jin, who was sweating all over his face, narrowed his eyes but saw the gift card next to his spiritual status. Power Demon. Rating. Four digits, awakening. And at this time, Al Gore brushed his bangs, humming softly. That guy by Yecha belongs to God, but now, it belongs to Al Chan, he he. Sleep. When you wake up, Al Chan will count you as passing this test. Don't worry, Al Chan has this authority. Su Jin was suffering from heavy sleepiness, but took out a Zanpaku knife from the gift card. That's a blank shallow hit. After splitting his authority and granting Su Jin the power of a demon, Al Gore muttered that it was time for the mask, and then disappeared into the hall. Unlike what Al Gore thought, Su Jin did not become comatose and adapt because of the empowerment, but forcibly skipped this process under the power of Beng Yu and kept awake. After initially getting used to the sleepiness, Su Jin opened his eyes and put his hand on the newly formed Zanpaku Dao. Knife Zen. This is from the world of Shinigami, a technique to communicate with Zanpakudo. And now, Su Jin is using this technique to communicate with the newly born Zanpakudo in his hand. As expected by Su Jin, Zanpakudo's new sword spirit quickly responded to him. A girl in a white restraint uniform with dark purple hair and a face very close to Al Gore suddenly appeared beside Su Jin. Oh, have you been called out so soon? Al Chan was a little surprised. The girl who appeared suddenly said with a little surprise. Al Gore. Seeing the other party, Su Jin said in surprise. Well, although it's okay to be named 27, but I'm not the main body, just her incarnation. The other party shrugged, and then said. Because I am the incarnation of demon power, you can call me Al Gore, or Lilith. Su Jin heard this, looked at her flickeringly and said. Al Gore, what is the purpose of giving me powers? The sword spirit of the Zanpakuto has an inseparable relationship with its master, and there is basically no possibility of harming the master. This is the purpose of Su Jin taking out a shallow sword before. He did this to prevent Al Gore from playing some tricks on him, turning passive into active. Well, if you say you want to be free, you probably won't believe it. Al Gore tilted his head slightly, but he took out a small mirror, combed his hair and said. Actually, it's because of your innate ability. 
If you don't bury your power, won't it be safe enough? That's what I thought at the time. When she said this, the corners of her mouth curled up, and she said with a wicked smile. As long as you promise to save El Gore, the contract will be established. As long as you fail to complete the task of saving El Gore for a day, I have the right to borrow your natural ability to give yourself a beauty. HMPH, do you really think that El Chan will let you go, if you run away or die, wouldn't El Chan's new beauty plan be ruined? Hearing this, the corner of Su Jin's mouth twitched, a little relieved, but a little speechless. In order to beautify himself, Star Al Gore really took great pains. By the way, if Aizen sees that the gods in Hakoniwa are just using Bengyu as a beauty tool, I'm afraid they will be dumbfounded. Gods and Buddhas are truly willful creatures. At this time, Al Gore, who was next to him, jumped up and kicked Su Jin's knee. Okay, hurry up and put Al Chan back, it's time for the mask, hurry up. Hearing this, Su Jin put the Zanpakuto back into its sheath expressionlessly, then sat back and watched Al Gore's figure dissipate. Evidently it's just a clone, but it's actually going back to the soul space for beauty. Speaking of this, thousands of words in Su Jin's heart converged into one sentence. Suffering. After scolding, Su Jin's heart felt a little more relaxed, and she had the mind to pay attention to other things. The trial is over, Su Jin said calmly. I thought I was going to lose the last game, but it turned out to be negotiated. At this time, Su Jin had a clear understanding of the original knowledge in his mind. The most important thing is not the plot, but the so-called character design. Su Jin couldn't help laughing. Is the trial of Perseus difficult? It's hard to die. Leticia is fully recovered, and she may not be able to pass the level. In the lower level of Little Garden, except for Zeus, the main god of the group of gods, no one is sure to pass the level. But in fact, it is not difficult. With Al Gore's obsession with beauty, as long as he has the ability to satisfy this obsession, he can pass the negotiation. But this point is known to very few people in Hakoniwa, and no one even realizes that Al Gore is so easy to talk. This adventure can be regarded as verifying some information. Su Jin sighed in relief. Pay attention to the personality of the characters, not the plot that changes at any time, this is the experience Su Jin has gained now. Thinking of this, Su Jin looked at the new Zanpakuto in his hand, but smiled self-deprecatingly. In these days, do all powerful people have to play double knives? Smiling, Su Jin took a few deep breaths, turned around and walked towards the door behind him which represented, trial completed. 15 minutes. Inside the Perseus stronghold, Ashlea Perseus looked at the time. Calculating the time, the challenger should also get the first artifact and it was discovered by Al Gore. It's estimated that he will die in two minutes. Luo C next to him said mockingly. Boss, do you want someone to prepare a recovery potion? After all, those who fail the challenge will basically suffer mental damage. At this time, Ashlea glanced at Leticia, but sighed. Get ready. Potions for quickly recovering mental damage are expensive, and no dot name may not be able to afford them now. Ashlea thought so, but in the next second, her complexion changed slightly. 387. The trial is over. As the leader of Perseus, Ashlea can naturally sense the general situation of the trial. But now, the trial has come to an end. Luo C next to him was also stunned. Did you die so quickly? I thought I'd have to wait two minutes. Oops, the potion isn't ready yet. Before the words were finished, a quaint stone door appeared in the center of the hall. Leticia next to her stood up, and at this moment, Ashlea gave Luo C a look. The losers of previous challenges were thrown out by Al Gore like dead dogs, but at this time, Ashlea didn't want to stimulate Leticia too much. I'll pick you up. Luo C, who understood the connotation of the eyes, sighed, stood up, bowed in front of the door, and was ready to catch the baseball. As for whether to ridicule Su Jin, he, Luo C, would not be able to sneer at a fainted person. Not long after, the door opened, and Su Jin stepped out of the door, looking at Luo C, who was kneeling on one knee with outstretched hands, with a dazed expression. Su Jin glanced at him, looked around, and didn't see any audience, so he turned his head and looked at Luo Si, with a strange expression on his face. Are you performing some kind of show? Or are you proposing to someone? Luo Si was taken aback. 
Ashlia on the main seat was also stunned for a moment. The atmosphere suddenly became a little awkward. Luo Si stretched out his hand and scratched it, looked at the door at the back, then at Su Jin in front of the door, opened his mouth, but didn't say a word. He was dumbfounded. I was completely stunned, my mind went blank, and I didn't even know what to say. As for the host, Ashlia, who was sitting on the main seat, said with a smile on her face. Luos, what's wrong with you? What are you doing out there all of a sudden? Hearing this sentence, Luo Si turned his head suddenly, and looked at Ashlia in disbelief. Didn't you ask me to come pick him up? You pretend like you don't know anything, what are you doing? My dear aunt, do you know that I am very embarrassed now? Thinking of what he said just now, such as, beaten to a dead dog, and died too quickly, Oss is really ashamed now. It's so embarrassing. Did I look like a clown in a circus just now? Su Jin came over, glanced at Luo Si, but said doubtfully. What's wrong? All of a sudden, could it be that you were found bullying men and women, and now you want to apologize? It's a ghost. Luo Si subconsciously wanted to respond, and forcibly changed his words, his face twisted, and the corners of his eyes twitched and said. I thought the door was broken, can't you fix it? Hearing this, Su Jin stepped aside and said. Then you fix it. Hearing this, Luo Si looked at the gate in front of him and Su Jin next to him. After thinking for a while, he didn't step forward or back away. The scene was very embarrassing. Luo's, come back, the door is just a routine malfunction. At this time, Ashlia, who was sitting on the main seat, finally opened her mouth to make a relief. Yes, Luo Si lowered his head and walked back, but he didn't dare to look at Su Jin anymore. This five-figure guy is a bit of a demon, it's better for him to hide and play. In the current situation, he would rather be a transparent person with no emotions, so as not to be used by Su Jin as a whore. After seeing Su Jin, Leticia breathed a sigh of relief, then patted the seat beside her, and while motioning for Su Jin to come over, she asked. Passed. It was a fluke to guess Al Gore's mind. Su Jin nodded and admitted. And with his acknowledgement, Luo Si trembled, but he didn't dare to speak anymore. At this time, Ashlia, who was sitting on the main seat, rested her chin with one hand and said in surprise. I'm curious, how did you win? According to common sense, it is impossible for Al Gore to let the intruder go. Quote. Hearing this, Su Jin thought for a while, but replied directly. I promised Al Gore that I would try to set her free if I had the chance. After saying this, he looked at Luo Si, but subconsciously wondered whether the Lord would jump out and mock him. But at this time, Luo Si rubbed his chin and said with approval and admiration. Is that so? Mr. Su Jin is really young and promising, and he was able to completely deceive that magic star. Such an achievement can only be compared with that of the Greek goddess of wisdom. Quote question mark quote. Su Jin looked at Luo Si with a weird expression. Then, he glanced at Leticia and asked. Has this person been dropped? Leticia held back her smile, shook her head slightly, then went up to Ashlia and said. Ashlia, according to the rules, my ownership may have to be transferred. I see. Ashlia sighed, although she still doesn't understand how Su Jin won, but the rules of the trial game are like this. Even if Shalatisha, a powerful fighter, is taken away, but the rules are above, she must obey the contract. Thinking of this, Ashlia took out a roll of pitch black parchment from the gift card. That is Leticia's ownership document. Seeing this document, Su Jin looked at Zan Nancy again. Luo Si's scalp was numb at the sight, and he forced congratulations, but in fact he said as if his heart was throbbing. As the successor leader of Arcadia, it is reasonable and legal for Mr. Su Jin to take over Lord Leticia. It was Meng Lang who questioned Mr. Su before. Later, I will apologize to the two of you and make up for your spiritual loss. It's about to bleed. The most important thing is, a four-digit number that can be pressed at the bottom of the box, it's gone just like that. Luo smiled on his face, MMP in his heart, thinking that he should send Su Jinsuan away as soon as possible up. This man is poisonous. Five digits and four digits are simply a wonderful flower in the lower classes. If it hadn't been for the agreement with Al Gore in the past that the game field could not be tested, he would have wanted to see how Su Jin won. At this time, Leticia took the document thrown by Ashlia, looked at it, and handed it to Su Jin. 
As the winner, her ownership was officially transferred to Su Jin. But this also made Letitia's depressed heart greatly relieved. No matter how Su Jin did it, it was enough that the result was beneficial to them. Su Jin looked at Luo Si with a strange expression, reached out to take the document, and after receiving the gift card, a smile appeared on his face and said, Thank you, Ms. Ashlia, for your help. In the past six months, Leticia of our family has also been taken care of by you. Stop it. Hearing this, Ashlia rolled her eyes and said, If you jump face again, you don't even want to go back to the lower floor today. Seeing this, Su Jin said with an unabated smile, No matter what you think now, no, the friendship between Name and Perseus has never changed. Ashlia's eyelids twitched, but she said unhappily, Can you transfer the ownership documents back? Su Jin's complexion remained unchanged, and he said with a smile, in principle, this is not acceptable, but considering the friendship between the two communities, paid employment is still acceptable to us. Take the combat power I lost, earn my money, and make me owe a favor. Ashley's eyelids jumped, and then said with a smile, You remind me of a god. I'm not the only one lucky enough to be similar to that great god. Su Jin said with a smile. Ashley said with a smile on her face. Loya Baron, the most shameless man in Arcadia. Is it actually Senior K. Loya? Lord Ashlia is really absurd. Leticia next to her pulled La Sujin, but she couldn't let this one continue to dance. Seeing this, Su Jin accepted it as soon as he saw it, and bowed slightly to Ashlia. It's getting late, I'll see you next time. Ashlia nodded slightly, sat in her seat, and watched Su Jin leave the temple of Perseus. Luo Si next to him was finally relieved after Su Jin left. After the person completely disappeared, Ashley aside, Arcadia may return again. Luosi's eyes flickered, but he smiled wryly. Five digits beat four digits, and it's still Lord Al Gore. Even if it may be a coincidence, it also proves the ability of this new leader. It's ridiculous that I actually thought this guy was here to make trouble for no reason, but I'm just blind. Later, Hao Hao Jiao subordinates will apply for transfer to the Cavaliers at the Kadri meeting, and go to the front line to retrain. Hearing this, Ashlia shook her head and said, Don't blame yourself, you've made a mistake, why not me? I thought the new leader was just here to prove that Arcadia was not destroyed, and wanted to remind us not to make things too difficult for teacher Leticia. But in the end, the person was actually snatched back. Quote. Speaking of this, Ashlia shook her head and said, Master Canary is indeed a wise man recognized by the upper and lower levels of Hakoniwa. Even if Arcadia is defeated, he can still leave behind this kind of backup. After finishing speaking, Ashlia turned her head, looked at Luo Si and said, Do you still want to suggest that I disassociate myself from the remnants of Arcadia? The corner of Luo Si's mouth twitched, but he said, In the next few years, I'm afraid I won't dare to talk nonsense anymore. Quote, Oh, I was bitten by a snake. Ashlia laughed, then looked at the door at the end of the hall and said. Give more compensation. Since you have lost money, don't worry about the loss anymore. Yes. Luo's next to him respectfully replied. Through the boundary gate, Su Jin and Leticia returned to the 2,105,380 outer gate where the no-dot name stronghold is located. At this time, the time was close to dawn, and the sun's brilliance had already come from under the waterfall at the end. Soon Jinyuan looked at the sky at dawn, then turned his head and said to Leticia. It's dawn. Well, it's dawn. Leticia folded her wings and landed. After watching the sunset for a while, she asked. Have you figured out how to explain it to the black rabbit? Missing in the middle of the night, and ran away to the four-figure outer door for a while, according to Hei Tu's personality, it might make her worry again. However, the most troublesome person is definitely not her. Leticia looked at Su Jin with a smile, but was waiting to see his joke. At this time, Su Jin thought for a while, nodded slightly and said. It's Leticia, you can explain it. Whether it's participating in the hero test or sneaking out at night, isn't it better for girls to talk? The smile on Leticia's face paused for a second or two. Didn't you want to make an agreement with the Black Rabbit and let me take you to, Perseus, to participate in the trial? Hearing this, Su Jin rubbed his chin and said, That's right, but with Black Rabbit's temperament, I'm afraid I thought I was joking, 
but how to put it, I was sure she would think so, so I said 997 directly. Leticia looked at Su Jin, feeling a little pity for Haidu in her heart. That child's personality was determined by Su Jin to be deadly. But after thinking about it, Leticia felt a little overwhelmed when she wanted to explain Su Jin to Hei Tu directly. I think this kind of thing. At this time, Leticia saw the ownership documents rolled up in Su Jin's hand. Leticia was silent for a second or two, then sighed and said. I understand, I will explain to Hai Tu. People have to bow their heads under the eaves. Although he left Perseus, he also returned to the declining Arcadia. But actually, Leticia is Su Jin's property. Therefore, to a certain extent, she cannot violate Su Jin's order. This is Su Jin's reward for challenging the hero's trial despite the danger. In this regard, Leticia will not refuse to cooperate with some unconventional means. Seeing Leticia soften, Su Jin put away the ownership documents with a smile and said, this thing is pretty easy to use, don't you think so, teacher Leticia? The purebred vampire princess looked at Su Jin quietly, and then said the same words as Ashlia. You're jumping a little bit now. Hearing this sentence, Su Jin smiled and said. I can't help it, I was tricked by Al Gore, and I'm not in a good mood, so I asked you to relieve the pressure. Leticia choked on these words and couldn't speak. Looking for them to decompress when you were in a bad mood. Is this a trash can? But when Su Jin mentioned Al Gore, Leticia couldn't help asking curiously. How on earth did you convince Al Gore? Seeing this, Su Jin thought for a while, and then explained. I heard that the ancestor of the devil cared too much about beauty, and I happen to have a gift that works on beauty, which is the premise of the deal. Are you so sure? Leticia asked in surprise. Even though Al Gore is famous for his love of beauty, it is extremely difficult to reach a deal with the irritable Protoss. To achieve this, the most important thing is to make Al Gore willing to communicate. But is that possible? Al Gore, who was sealed by the Greek gods and forcibly demoted, met the challenger who wanted to emulate Perseus, and it would be good not to play to death, let alone communicate. Hearing this, Su Jin stroked his chin, thought for a while and said, the key is momentum, right? You must show the momentum that makes Al Gore think you have the whole card, and then use the initial tentative attack, and only after doing this can you make her loosen her attitude. Quote. Speaking of this, Su Jin spread his hands and said. Of course, I only came up with this idea after I met Al Gore. When I started to make adjustments, I didn't expect to succeed once. I just had the idea of testing the gap. Originally, I was just challenging on the bright side, and through reckless actions secretly, I warned Perseus not to overdo it. But in the end, although things were beyond my expectations, the goal was successfully achieved. That is to say, the challenge, Chej, at the beginning was to intimidate Perseus, you have intentions. Leticia understood a little bit. I'm afraid Ashlia has also seen this. Su Jin's so-called challenge trial is just telling her that the remnants of Arcadia are still there and warning the members of Perseus not to embarrass themselves too much. As a result, unexpectedly, Su Jin completed the trial and successfully made Al Gore admit his defeat. Thinking of this, Leticia smiled and said, You seem to have been lucky. I think so. He said so, but Su Jin understood that it had the effect of Bengyu guiding the body and mind. Hearing these playful words, Leticia smiled and said, So leader, has the community's development plan been decided? Hearing this, Su Jin nodded, raised an index finger and said. It has been decided that there are three processes to obtain the identity of the regional ruler, earn a lot of money and gifts through this identity, and then purchase information on the Arcadia flag. Hearing this, Leticia nodded and approved Su Jin's strategy. Recapturing the flag of the community. Indeed, that is a top priority. However, I think there is another priority to be added, which is to improve your strength. In any case, if you want to take back the flag, force must be one of the necessary conditions. I understand. Su Jin nodded upon hearing this, and then said, training starts tomorrow. Or today. Tomorrow, today I have to convince the black rabbit. Ah, here she is. As soon as Leticia finished speaking, she turned her head and looked to the side, but saw the moon rabbit flying down in the sky. Not long after, the black rabbit's annoyed voice sounded in Su Jin's ears. You too. 
Explain to me why you sneaked out of the house in the middle of the night. Rabbit, I'm really angry. Give it to you. Su Jin pursed her lips at Leticia, and then immediately jumped and ran. Seeing this, Leticia smiled wryly, but went up to stop the black rabbit. On the other side, Su Jin, who returned to the stronghold first, said to Ren Russell, retreat for a day, don't disturb. With the other party's confused expression, he locked himself in the room. The reason is because, at the end of the trial process, he had heard a hint from the dimensional forum. Su Jin, who quickly locked the door, quickly sat on the sofa, and then clicked on the dimension forum. Ding! Invite new members successfully, the new members are sleeping, no questions for the time being. Seeing this news, the corner of Su Jin's mouth twitched, and he said speechlessly, isn't today April Fool's Day? He silently closed the news, and glanced at all the columns of the dimensional forum to see if there were any new trends. Sure enough, Aizen sent out invitations to ask questions several times, but they failed uniformly and gave a reminder that a two-month reply period was temporarily needed. This man really doesn't trust anyone. Su Jin smiled dumbly, then looked away and looked at the message from another person. That was the message sent by the first questioner who logged in, Butterfly Ninja. Ghosts destroy the world, Butterfly House. Butterfly Kanae held a notebook and thought hard with a pen. Ah, I sent out a lot of messages, but Mr. Ghost didn't seem to reply. It's impossible. How could evil ghosts refuse contact with humans? Generally speaking, shouldn't it be because they want food to come automatically? Could it be that you know that I'm the pillar of the Demon Slayer squad, so you're afraid? Don't dare, come into contact with me. Obviously I'm willing to try to coexist peacefully come on. Thinking of this, Butterfly Kanae couldn't help sighing. And in the room behind Butterfly Shanae, shouts came again and again. Kanahu, go brush your teeth, don't drink the foam. Um, Kanahu, go wash your face, remember to put the wash basin away. Kanahu, don't stand up after washing your face, come over to have breakfast, after breakfast, put the dishes and chopsticks in the kitchen, I will wash them later. Kanai, shouted a dozen words back and forth, and then there was a bang. The rear Japanese-style sliding door was pulled open, and Dao's anxious female voice rang out. Sister, look at this child. As soon as the irritable voice said a word, there was a deep sense of despair in his tone. Kanahu wants me to direct every action she makes, this kid, she doesn't have the slightest idea. Oh, Butterfly Kanae turned her head and looked at her younger sister Butterfly Shinobu. It was a girl with black hair and purple pupils, with purple at the tip of her hair, the hair on her temples was as long as her collarbone, and her hair was tied at the back of her head, she looked quite capable. However, at this time, the capable butterfly ninja looked at her sister with a grievance. When will this kind of life end? It's not that butterfly ninja hates Lihua Luoxiang Naihu, but that butterfly ninja's schedule has been broken for almost half a month, and she feels a little depressed. On weekdays, she has to practice breathing techniques, practice swordsmanship, study pharmacology, take care of patients treated by Maladimo, and sometimes complete ghost-killing tasks of the ghost-killing team. Normally, Butterfly Shinobu's schedule is very tight. At this time, Kanai can't leave her for a moment, and even a little lock needs her command. This caused Butterfly Shinobi to squeeze out the time during the day to take care of Chestnut Blossoms and Chanel while other matters should be done at night as much as possible. This also caused her to sleep no more than three hours a night. After half a month, Butterfly Ren really couldn't hold on anymore. And listening to her sister's complaints, Butterfly Kanae smiled very understandingly. If that's the case, Kanahu should take care of me. No. Butterfly refused without thinking. Sister, as the pillar of the ghost-killing team, you have many things to do on weekdays. If you take care of Kanahu, after excessive energy consumption, it is too dangerous to kill evil spirits. Speaking of this, Butterfly Shinobu added. Also, my sister dotes on Chanel too much, she will teach this child to be useless. Butterfly Chanaway looked a little embarrassed, where she pretended to be stupid and said. That's because Kanai is so cute. It's because of this that I can't let you take care of the child. Butterfly grumbled, then sighed. In that case, I'll ask the team for a while. Hearing this sentence, Butterfly Kanae was about to speak to persuade her, 
but then she thought that her sister would be safer if she didn't perform the task, so she stopped Kaijong's thoughts. At this time, Butterfly Ninja sighed and said, Really? I hope that child can grow up soon. Ah, Kanai, are you full for breakfast? At this moment, Butterfly Kanai, who noticed the appearance of Lihuluo Kanaihu, showed a doting smile. Yeah, Chanel nodded, then stared blankly at Butterfly Aromatherapy. However, the smile on Butterfly Chanel's face is even more vigorous. It's fine if you're full. If you're still hungry, my sister will make you something to eat. Hmm. Chanahu nodded again, as if she would only respond to this. Seeing this, Butterfly couldn't help but hold his forehead and said, Sister, Kana is a girl, if she eats too much fat, there will be a big problem. Hearing this sentence, Butterfly Kanae said in surprise, A, isn't it better for children to eat more? Butterfly Ren didn't speak, but she made up her mind not to let Butterfly Shane intervene in Chanahu's education. What a loser for a loving mother. At this time, the butterfly Kanae, who was watching the chestnut flowers fall to Kanaihu, suddenly looked at the notebook, then stood up with a smile, walked in front of Kanaihu, and took out a coin from the bag hanging in her hand. The coin is made of copper and has the words, watch, on the front and, in, on the back. Butterfly Shanae raised her hand, touched Chanahu's head, then put the coin in her hand and said, Kanahu, if you encounter something that you can't decide when you are alone, then use a coin toss to decide. Butterfly Kanae said this, smiled and said, This is the method that one of my sister's friends taught my sister. If Kanahu will use it, it will be very good, right? Kanahu looked down at the coin, looked up again, looked at Butterfly Kanae, and finally nodded cutely. Um, seeing this, Butterfly Kanae couldn't help but hugged her head madly, sure enough, Kanae is the cutest. Butterfly next to her covered her face, but she didn't see her sister rubbing her face in a harassing way against the child. Butterfly endured the suspicion that the reason why her sister fell in love with Chanahu, and was even willing to buy it from traffickers, was probably because of Chanahu's face. This sister really makes people unable to complain. And at this moment, Butterfly Ninja suddenly remembered what Butterfly Kanae said before, and asked a little strangely. Speaking of which, sister, who is that friend you're talking about? Is it the pillar of the Demon Slayer squad? Or is it, the master? Butterfly Shinobi tends to think that person is the leader of the ghost killing team, because she heard that the other party seems to have a very gentle personality. Only gentle people will listen to my sister's troubles and then teach her how to solve them. Ah, is this? Butterfly Kanae was obviously stunned by the question, with an unnatural expression on her face. But she knew how much her sister hated evil ghosts after her parents were killed by ghosts. If I let my younger sister know that I have a connection with ghosts, I'm afraid she will be very angry. Therefore, if conditions permit, Butterfly Kanae doesn't want to make her sister cry. Huh, it's a bit suspicious. Butterfly looked at her sister suspiciously. Immediately afterwards, she realized something in an instant, looked at her sister with a reddish face, and forcibly changed the subject. Okay, can I who, go wash the dishes with me, and the soup seems to have been spilled on a pair just now, just take it off and wash it for me, and then I'll take you to take a bath. Watching Butterfly Ninja take Kanahu away, Butterfly Kanae covered her cheek and said after the other party left. It must be a misunderstanding. Butterfly Kanae sighed with a reddish face. 80% think I have a boyfriend, really. She sighed, looked down at the diary, and was about to pick it up. And at this moment, she saw a word slowly appearing in the notebook. That was a query from Su Jin. How about seeing each other? 2. Seeing this information, Butterfly Kanae first woke up with a start, and then became vigilant. In the past, it's not that she didn't try to talk to evil spirits, but what she often got was full of malice. Some verbally agreed and took the opportunity to escape, some secretly attacked, some even took the opportunity to kidnap hostages and threaten them. Among them, the evil spirit who directly rejected her was the most honest. But now, Butterfly Chanahui suspects that Su Jin wants to trick her into leaving the Butterfly house and harm her secretly. This has happened in the past, if it wasn't for Butterfly Chanahui's strength, I'm afraid it would have been a disaster. She didn't even have the guts to tell Butterfly Shinobu about these things, for fear that she would be worried and angry. 
Do you want to try again? Butterfly Kanae looked at the diary in front of her, hesitated for a moment, and chose to trust others again. Thinking of this, she walked to the room, took out a pen, and wrote in her diary. I accept meeting, Mr. Ghost. But, 483, can you tell me what are the requirements for meeting? Not long after, two lines of writing appeared on the diary. A quiet place is fine. The condition for the meeting is to write in the diary and invite me to answer questions face to face, and you can ask any questions you want. Butterfly Shanae looked at the first line of words, a hint of disappointment flashed in her eyes. Is it a quiet place? Probably a place that is convenient for a sneak attack. Although she was disappointed, Butterfly Kanae was still prepared. She thinks her strength is pretty good, if she is not a member of the senior evil ghost 12 strings moon who directly belongs to the ghost king Gwei Wusuji Wuma among the evil ghosts, she thinks she can still escape for her life. Of course, there are still dangers in this, but considering that Su Jin is a good ghost, who cares about children's psychological problems, she thinks to take this risk. Thinking of this, Butterfly Kanae took the sun wheel knife for killing ghosts, took a diary and a pen, and sneaked out from the back door of Butterfly House. At this time, Butterfly in the room raised his head and saw his sister's sneaky figure from the window. Quote question mark quote. Butterfly tilted her head and blinked. Butterfly House is located on the outskirts of the city. During the Taisho period, the architecture of the island country still maintained the old Japanese style. Therefore, Butterfly Chanel quickly found a dark alley. However, instead of entering directly, she stood in the sun for safety reasons. Evil Gaiwu can't survive in the sun, and once exposed to the sun, they will be wiped out. This is common sense that the ghost killing team and even the common people know. Although Butterfly Chanahui is willing to meet Su Jin, it doesn't mean she won't have any doubles. At this time, Butterfly Shanae wrote lines in the diary with her back to the sun. Kanahu is so cute, invites you to answer the question, can ghosts and humans really get along well? Su Jin was stunned for a moment when he saw the news, and then clicked, accept the invitation, on the forum. Under the power of the dimensional forum, Su Jin moved from No, Name's own room to a dark alleyway full of ancient customs. And right in front of him, a beautiful woman dressed in a feather, wearing a black uniform, with butterfly decorations on both sides of her hair, raised her hand to her mouth and shouted. Mr. Ghost, are you there? Allah. At this moment, Butterfly Chanahui was surprised when she saw Su Jin who suddenly appeared. She looked at Su Jin, fell silent for a while, then tilted her head and said, Mr. Ghost. Su Jin's eyelids twitched, looked up and down at the beauty in front of her, and emphasized speechlessly. I'm not Mr. Oni, and you're not Ninja Butterfly, right? Ms. Butterfly Kanae. Hey, it seems like this. Butterfly Kanae tilted her head, pretending to be stupid. But she remembered that when she communicated with Su Jin, she was using the identity of Butterfly Ninja. This is a bit embarrassing. Seeing Butterfly Shanae on the opposite side pretending to be stupid, Su Jin didn't say anything. Not everyone is as arrogant and confident as Aizen Soyusuke, who believes that he can hold everything in the palm of his hand. It is only natural for a woman like Butterfly Kanae to use means to protect herself. This is not a question of deceit, but out of responsibility for one's own life. Thinking of this, Su Jin shrugged, but said, in any case, in terms of the results, it is beneficial to me. When he said these words, Butterfly Chanahui couldn't help raising her brows, but subconsciously became alert. But at this time, Su Jin stretched out his hand and grabbed it, as if holding the air. Not long after, the atmosphere exploded. Butterfly Kanae covered her ears in this sudden situation, and couldn't help taking a few steps back. At this time, Su Jin smiled and said, Sorry. I'm getting used to the intensity of the atmosphere, it seems to scare you. Strength. Butterfly Kanae couldn't help holding the sunwheel knife, and kept raising her guard. So, Mr. Ghost, have you tried it? Su Jin didn't care about Butterfly Chanahui's reaction, but rather praised her. Then he laughed and said, Tested, I think I should be able to twist Onomai Suji's head off and use it as a ball. Is that so? Mr. Ghost is very powerful. Butterfly Kanae said with a smile on her face. Grabbing the air with bare hands, this kind of power is beyond human imagination. 
Something should be able to kick Numai Suji's head like a ball. Aren't you afraid that it's ghost dance Suji Mumi? And at this moment, Su Jin looked at Butterfly Chanel who was afraid in front of him and said. Don't be so nervous, I don't mean any harm. After saying this, Su Jin turned his head, looked at the corner of the alley and said. In addition, this young lady can also rest assured that she doesn't have to worry about what I will do to you. When Su Jin said this, a gentle smile appeared on his face. Because humans cannot resist mine. At the place where the name was called, on the wall on the side of the alleyway, Butterfly Ninja jumped up, pulled out the sun wheel knife and said. Ghost, stay away from my sister. Z. Butterfly Shane looked up and said in surprise. But at this time, Butterfly Ninja jumped down, stood next to Butterfly Shane, held a knife on guard and said. I'll talk about other things later, the key now is the evil spirit in front of me. Evil ghost or something, isn't it too raw? Su Jin smiled when he heard the words, but looked at Dai Dai Ren curiously and said, 1.6 inches I have a name. I know. Butterfly Ren's face was indifferent, full of killing intent, and said, Ghost Dance Suji Wuma, I've been looking for you for a long time. Su Jin's face froze for a moment, but he was a little offended. He took a deep breath, exhaled slowly, and took a step forward. Don't take me as that kind of lowly. How could the mere ghost dance Suji Mumi be compared to him? Su Jin sneered in his heart, stepped forward, but walked out of the dark alleyway, opened his hands, and bathed in the sun. Seeing this, Butterfly Kanae gradually widened her eyes, with fear and panic in her eyes. Butterfly even let go of his palm, and even the knife fell to the ground, with a horrified expression. At this moment, the two sisters' minds were synchronized like never before. Evil ghost, actually standing under the sun. Gimyuai Suji has overcome its flaws and become an ultimate creature. Seeing Su Jin standing under the sun, Butterfly Ren was terrified. Sunshine will kill evil spirits, which has been common sense in the world of ghosts for thousands of years. However, even if evil spirits have such a fatal weakness, for thousands of years, the struggle between humans and ghosts has often ended in the defeat of human beings. But now, an evil ghost who defeated the sun appeared in front of them. And this ghost is also suspected to be the ghost king, Gaiwu Suji. The meaning that this represents is enough to make the butterfly endure despair. This means that evil spirits have lost their greatest weakness, and have truly become perfect creatures. The struggle between humans and ghosts will have a huge inclination. Sister, I'm here to stop him. Please be sure to tell the Lord and the members of the Demon Slayer squad at the pillar level about this matter. Butterfly took a step forward and stood in front of Butterfly Kanae, with a will to die. Dot 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 dot. If possible, please take care of yourself and Kanaihu. In an instant, the scene seemed to turn into life and death. And just when Butterfly Shinobi was about to die, Butterfly Kanae suddenly stretched out her hand and pressed her shoulder. Shin, wait a moment. Sister, why don't you leave? Butterfly Ren's face suddenly became anxious. At this moment, Butterfly Shane shook her head, then patted her shoulder and said. First of all, the thought of a dog standing in the sun does not exist. No, already exists. Butterfly couldn't finish her words when she was interrupted by Butterfly Kanae. That Mr. Ghost is human. What? Butterfly was stunned, and looked at her sister in a daze. Humanity. Aren't you kidding me Butterfly Ninja? But at this moment, Butterfly Chanahui turned her head and apologized to Su Jin. Mr. Ghost, ah, I'm sorry, I'm calling this out again, can I call you Mr. Su Jin? The corners of Su Jin's lips curled up when he heard this, and he looked at her with a smile and said, the reaction is very fast. This response indirectly proved Butterfly Shanae's thoughts. Butterfly Kanae apologized and bowed. Sorry, my sister and I mistook you for an evil ghost. I can kind of understand that. Su Jin nodded slightly, accepting Butterfly Chana Hui's apology. But that doesn't mean I'll accept it. Butterfly Shane raised her head when she heard the words, and said with a little doubt. Then how are you going to accept our apology? Su Jin stroked her chin, then said with a smile. Shelter, food, sun wheel knife, breathing method, ghost material, prepare these, and I will accept your apology. I understand. I can provide accommodation and food. As for the rest, I need to ask my superiors. Butterfly Chanaway nodded. 
Facing Su Jin, whose enemy is unknown but whose strength is terrifying, if this kind of condition can be exchanged for peace, it is indeed acceptable. Huh, why do we have to prepare these? Butterfly was stunned, but she was a bit inexplicable about Su Jin's request. And at this time, the butterfly Kanae next to her tapped her head lightly, and softly said. Isn't it because Shinobu is too impulsive? Huh. Butterfly was stunned, can this also be her fault? Etc. Something is wrong. At first it appears that her older sister sneaked out of the house, then she followed out of concern, and then heard her sister shouting, Mr. Ghost, into an alley. Afterwards, Su Jin appeared, showing a grip that was not at all human-like, directly grabbing the air. This made her naturally think that Su Jin is indeed a ghost, because it is impossible for human beings to have such a grip. So, here comes the problem. What is the cause of this incident? Butterfly Kanae said, Mr. Ghost. Thinking of this, Butterfly couldn't help shouting softly. Elder sister, you can't throw your pot to me. At this time, Butterfly Kanae said solemnly. Forbearance, since you made a mistake, you should correct it if you know it, understand. Sister, Dai Dai Ren seemed to have tears in the corners of his eyes. Okay, okay, don't cry, don't cry, just know it's wrong. Butterfly Chan Wei touched her sister's head, then said to Su Jin. Then Mr. Su Jin, can you move around? Can. Su Jin nodded slightly, and accepted Butterfly Chanahui's request. Butterfly House, the corridor beside the courtyard. Butterfly grimaced, knelt and handed over the brewed green tea and refreshments. Su Jin turned his head and glanced at her, Dai Dai Ren's expression suddenly changed, became calm, and then nodded. And when Butterfly Chan Wei turned her gaze away, her face immediately became stinky. Huh, Butterfly snorted, and sat beside her angrily. Ah, still angry. Butterfly Chan Wei stuck out her tongue, then turned her head with a smile and said, My sister has a bad temper, and she still looks at Haihan. It's okay. Su Jin picked up the teacup, took a sip, and said softly, The tea is good. Thank you for the compliment. Butterfly Shanae smiled and thanked her, then she calmed down and asked with some doubts. I have something, can I ask Mr. Su Jin to answer it? Let's talk. Su Jin put down the tea and picked up a piece of refreshment. Butterfly Kanae said with some hesitation, are you human? That's right. Su Jin nodded. Hearing this, Butterfly Shanae said with some confusion. But just now you directly squeezed the air, and you still have that diary. Is this important to you? Su Jin turned his head and asked, looking at Butterfly Chan away. Ah, Butterfly Kanae froze for a moment, then smiled. Yeah, to me, it's not important. Su Jin's secret is his secret, as long as Su Jin is not an evil spirit, then this matter is not important to Butterfly Chan away. Okay, let's change the question. Su Jin stopped this topic in time, and then said. I've seen the questions you wrote in your diary. When Butterfly Shanae heard this, she suddenly said. It's the phrase, can ghosts and humans really get along well, right? Hearing this sentence, Dai Dai next to her twitched her eyelids and looked at her sister. Although it was not the first time she had heard this sentence, Dai Dai Ren never thought that her sister would say this sentence to outsiders. You will be treated as an idiot, sister. And if it is heard by those members of the ghost killing team whose relatives died at the hands of ghosts, sister, you will be treated as a different kind. Butterfly couldn't help roaring in her heart, but because of Su Jin's presence, she could only pretend that she didn't hear anything. At this time, Su Jin raised the corner of his mouth slightly, and said with a smile, of course ghosts and humans can get along well. Really? Butterfly Kanae opened her eyes wide and asked in surprise, then what should I do to achieve this? Hearing this, Su Jin's smile became more vigorous. He chuckled lightly and said, As long as you kill all the ghosts and turn them into folk legends and false existences, then can't people and evil ghosts get along friendly. Hearing this sentence, Butterfly Kanae's expression froze. Hearing Su Jin's words, Butterfly Ren who was listening couldn't help but praise. That's right, that's it. This kind of struggle for survival can only be declared over if one side is completely destroyed. But she very much agrees with Su Jin's statement. How can a man-eating ghost coexist peacefully with people? Can people live in peace with chickens, ducks and fish? Impossible, if you are hungry, will you still eat when you should? Therefore, 
From the very beginning, peaceful coexistence did not exist, and only 10% of this battle will be declared over. The reason why my sister thinks this way is because she is too gentle and doesn't want to hurt anyone. Hearing her sister's words of approval, Butterfly Shanae gave a wry smile. Is that true, Mr. Su Jin thinks so too. The members of the ghost killing squad basically hold the same idea as Su Jin. After several years of contact, Dai Shanai has gotten used to it. At this time, Su Jin said calmly. Don't be too disappointed. Different worlds have different environments. In this world, ghosts and humans cannot coexist, but in other worlds, there are countless worlds that can coexist. Another, world. Butterfly Chanahui was stunned for a moment, then looked at Su Jin, and then remembered the magical notebook, but opened her mouth slightly. Butterfly Shinobi next to him also frowned frequently, looking at Su Jin suspiciously. Another world. Hell. Gao Tianyuan. Is Mr. Su Jin implying something? How did he and his sister meet? At this time, Su Jin had already eaten half of the tea by himself, and then said. This tea tastes quite special, is there any special seasoning added? Wisteria, I added wisteria. Butterfly Shinobu smiled and said. Mashing and draining wisteria flowers and adding them to the flower gives that flavor. Huh, wisteria flowers. Su Jin glanced at the refreshments, then looked at Butterfly with some amusement and said. I heard that this kind of flower is very poisonous to evil spirits. Yes. Butterfly smiled and said energetically. At this time, Su Jin raised the corner of his mouth and said. Miss Ninja, is she thinking that if I am a ghost, she will directly poison me to death? That's right. Butterfly Ninja was still full of energy. You don't need any mercy to deal with evil spirits. Then, her complexion changed, but she bowed to Su Jinfu full of apology. I'm sorry for such behavior. At this moment, Su Jin smiled and said, You apologize because I'm human, right? That's right, if those evil ghosts eat people, I will only increase the dose of toxin. Butterfly Ninja raised her head slightly and said with a smile on her face. Cruel, ruthless, cruel, as long as it is facing evil spirits, Butterfly Ninja can do these things without hesitation. Ever since her parents were killed by evil spirits, she has been in this state of mind. Forbearance. Butterfly Kanae next to her looked at her sister with some unbearable embarrassment. My sister's temperament became more and more extreme, but it made her sister very worried. At this time, Su Jin smiled and said. Are you prepared for whether I will retaliate? Have. Butterfly lowered his head again and said. Next time, please don't hurt my family, other than that. I can accept all the conditions. No matter what, poisoning is poisoning, even if it is specifically aimed at evil spirits and has no effect on humans, even wisteria flowers that taste good. But she did poison the ghost with the purpose of poisoning the ghost, and it was only natural that Su Jin would take revenge. It's just that she hopes that this matter can be done by one person and not hurt the innocent. The man in front of her had too strong aura and was completely inhuman, so she didn't want to cause other people suffering because of her actions. Anything is fine, Su Jin looked at Butterfly Ninja with a strange expression at this time, including you. Butterfly Ren shivered when he heard it, and then said with a somewhat tangled tone, yes. At this moment, Butterfly Chanel stood in front of Butterfly Ninja. Well, Mr. Su Jin, if you need to apologize, I think I can take it for my sister. Oh, Su Jin was taken aback for a while, then looked at the two sisters with a smile and said, I don't mind if you are together. Ah, Butterfly Chanahui and Butterfly Ren were stunned for a moment, and then looked at Su Jin with very strange eyes. This strong and abnormal Mr. Human doesn't seem to be an ordinary lecher. Butterfly Chana Wei felt weird, but she still gritted her teeth and insisted with a blushing face. No, only one. Sister, what you just taught me is that you have to take responsibility for the mistakes you make, don't you? Butterfly Shinobi next to him stood up immediately. This and that are different. That one is different. Not paying attention to the quarrel between the two sisters, Su Jin had already walked to the side, squatted down, looked at Li Hua Luo Shanganai who was hiding in the corner of the corridor in front of him and said. Do your two older sisters look like idiots? Chana who looked at Su Jin, then at the two older sisters who were suddenly blushing and did not speak, finally nodded and said, yeah. Butterfly Kanae could hold back this nod, 
but Butterfly Shinobu couldn't help being ashamed and annoyed. Kanai, sister is scary, isn't she? At this moment, Su Jin smiled and stroked Chanahu's hair. Kanai who looked at Butterfly Ninja, then at Su Jin, nodded and said, Yeah. You child. Now, Dai Dai couldn't bear it anymore. This child seems to only be able to say, um. Then what is she angry about? After rubbing Kanai Hu's little head for a while, Su Jin stood up, but said. Okay, let's put the so-called apology on hold for now. Whenever I think about it, I will ask you to get it. This can still be shelved. Butterfly Kanae had a strange expression on her face. On the other side, Butterfly Shinobi was a little ashamed. Doesn't this statement make her and her sister ready to be asked at any time? However, Su Jin didn't care about the unnaturalness of the two, but said with a light smile. I want to ask, what do I need to do if I want to get the sunwheel knife, the breathing technique, and a living ghost? Hearing this, Butterfly Ninja reacted first, and said with a strange expression. For these things, you can do it by joining the Demon Slayer team, and if you solve them together, you can probably participate in the final selection of Fujishiyama. Fujishiyama's final selection is a ceremony for the Ghost Slayer squad to select new members. It lasted seven days, and was a survival act in which ghosts chased and killed them. For the members of the Ghost Killing Team who have completed this, the Ghost Killing Team will create a special Sun Wheel Knife for free and give it to new members. As for the breathing method, Dai Dai Ren has some. As for ghosts, there are ghosts everywhere in Fuji Attack Mountain. Of course, they are all very weak and easy to deal with ghosts. That's why Butterfly Ninja proposed this location. Of course, more importantly, she wanted to invite Su Jin to join the ghost killing squad. He has the idea of killing ghosts, and his own strength is extraordinarily strong, maybe even stronger than his sister who is the pillar. Therefore, Dai Dai Ren knows very well that if Su Jin is recruited to join the ghost killing squad, the benefits will definitely far exceed her imagination. At least one more ghost slayer who has the same goals as him is a huge benefit. Is that so? Su Jin glanced at Butterfly Ninja, who could more or less guess what she was thinking. When will the final selection start? Nodes at this time, Butterfly Kanae glanced at Butterfly Shinobi, shook her head slightly and said. I'm afraid we will have to wait for the next round. This selection started yesterday. But at this time, Su Jin suddenly appeared beside Dai Dai Ren and said. It seems that we have to hurry up. Butterfly couldn't bear to be surprised, but was astonished by Su Jin's sudden speed. I can't see clearly at all, I can't even see the shadow, how could it be so fast? At this time, Su Jin hugged Butterfly Ninja's waist, and under her astonished eyes, pinched her under the next door, and then said to Butterfly Kanae. Your sister can lend me an hour, can you? Oh, oh. Butterfly Kanae subconsciously responded. However, before she could react, the figures of the two disappeared in front of her. Butterfly Kanae was stunned, she turned her head in a daze, looked at Kanae and said. Kanahu, did you see big brother sister again? Li Huluo Chanahu shook her head, then stared blankly at Butterfly Chanahui. Within a few seconds, her face was rubbed by Butterfly Kanae, as expected, Kanae is really cute. Above the sky. Su Jin held Butterfly Ninja in his arms, and moved a long distance with the ringing wheel, and then stood in the sky above a city. But at this time, Butterfly Ninja who was caught by him shouted in panic. I'm going to fall, I'm going to fall, don't. Stop barking. Su Jin said in a low voice at this time, but he brought ghost skills to calm the spirit. Butterfly Shinobu quickly regained his composure, and then said cognitively. Mr. Su Jin, please be sure to hug me. Once I fall from this height, I will definitely die. I have no reason to refuse this request. Su Jin was standing in the air at this time, overlooking the city road below. This seems to be Edo, which direction is that mountain of anger in Edo? E, Edo. Butterfly Ren was a little dumbfounded at this moment. Butterfly House is 50 or 60 kilometers away from Edo, right? How long has it been? She blinked a few times, and she arrived in Edo. At this time, Butterfly lowered her head reluctantly. Although she was looking down from the top, she still saw some, familiar, buildings after she had been to Edo. Just kidding, Butterfly Ren was in a trance. But at this time, Su Jin, who thought that Dai Nin was trying to determine the direction, 
did not disturb him, but opened the 347 Yuan forum and glanced at the content. At this time, he saw a message, frowned and said, can you stay in this world for 28 days? Is it so long? The last time he stayed in the world of God of Death for 14 days, Su Jin thought it was a fixed time period, but now it seems that he guessed wrong. But this way, it is also beneficial, at least 28 days is enough for him to make a huge disturbance in the world of Ghost Slayer. Only, in this way, Hakoniwa will take one day and four hours, and my leave time seems to be too much. As the leader who took the lead in asking for leave, Su Jin could already imagine the resentful look in Hei Tu's eyes. It's kind of funny when you think about it. At this time, Dai Dai, who was still a little dizzy, couldn't help but raised his head, looked at Su Jin's side face and said. Hakoniwa, what is it? Su Jin looked down at Butterfly Ninja, thought for a while, but said without much concealment. The so-called box garden is a playground made by gods and Buddhas. Oh, Butterfly Shinobu's expression was very flat, as if nothing would surprise her anymore. It's a god, I love it. Su Jin was a little surprised by Butterfly Ninja's reaction, but didn't CHFD think about anything else, just thinking that the other party didn't react for a while. By the way, the location has not been determined yet. Probably this side, the straight line distance should be more than 120 kilometers. Because wisteria flowers are all over the mountains and fields all year round, it is quite easy to find in this season. Butterfly looked down, then pointed in a direction. In the next second, Jing Tian spun around the scene. Butterfly stared numbly at the large expanse of familiar wisteria flowers in front of her, and said. It's already here, this is Fuji Attack Mountain. Hearing this, Su Jin nodded, and then said to Dai Dai, who was held under his arm. Shall I let you down? Butterfly hesitated for a moment, and said, take it easy, I'm afraid my feet will be too soft and I'll fall to the ground. This is the truth. Sudden high altitude overlooking, spatial displacement, even if he has a little supernatural ability, Butterfly Ninja is indeed a little weak in his legs. What kind of breath of flowers, what kind of sun wheel knife, these things are really exaggerated to cross the Kanto in a few seconds. Mr. Su Jin next to her is a god and Buddha, right? It must be the gods and Buddhas in the sky, right? Wait a minute, if it is a god or a Buddha. How about a real friendly relationship between humans and ghosts? Thinking of this, Dai Dai Ren's eyes suddenly lit up. Mr. Su Jin, I should be fine. Hearing this, Su Jin glanced at Butterfly Ren, and then let her down. At this time, Butterfly Ninja, who had experienced the final selection once, looked around and said. This is the top of Fujiji Mountain, which happens to be the main venue for the final selection. Generally speaking, a large number of evil spirits will gather around here, but considering the start of the trial, there should be many evil spirits running to the border area of the mountainside to hunt and kill the trial personnel. Hearing this, Su Jin nodded and said. That is to say, there are very few ghosts here. That's right. Butterfly nodded reluctantly, then looked at the sky, and said. Besides, it's still morning, and the evil spirits basically won't appear. Generally speaking, they hide in caves, or dig a hiding place under the ground. If they want to hunt. But we have to wait until night to talk about it. Quote. Well, I can feel it. At this moment, Su Jin closed her eyes, while using her sense of spiritual pressure to know. 42 ghosts, 31 humans, the closest humans are. Su Jin turned his head and looked at the big tree more than 10 meters away. Raising his head slightly, he saw a girl in a light red kimono, with short black hair and a fox mask tied on the right side of her head, sitting on a branch, leaning on the trunk and quietly. E. At this time, Butterfly Shinobu also cast his gaze towards the girl. At this moment, noticing Butterfly Shinobi's gaze, the girl suddenly opened her eyes and looked over. After a while, the other party took the initiative to say. Quote dot dot dot. Is there a problem? Ah, it's a member who participated in the trial this year. Butterfly Ren was a little dazed when he saw the girl. The other party jumped down from the tree after hearing this, and said in doubt. This year, are you an official team member? At this time, Su Jin took a step forward, smiled and said, your name is Ji Yu, Ji Yu, right? Yeah. Junju nodded, looking at Su Jin with some doubts, do you know me? That's right. 
Su Jin smiled, but was also surprised to meet Junli. According to the original book, it seems that the protagonist Tanjiro died in the final selection a few years before the protagonist Tanjiro became a member of the Demon Slayer squad. It was a kind of luck that he did not expect to meet a living person by chance. At least, there will be no accidental death again. After briefly answering Junju's doubts, Su Jin asked while walking. Evil ghosts can also come out on cloudy days, right? Yes. Butterfly Ninja and Zenmu responded at the same time. That's good. Su Jin nodded with a smile, and at some point there was a knife in his hand. That was his Zanpakudo by Yi. Click. Pulling out Zanpakudo slightly, Su Jin stopped and said in a low voice. It is going to rain. Ah. Butterfly froze for a moment, and Junzong was also full of doubts. Rain, the sun, how can it rain? At this time, Butterfly raised his head reluctantly, but saw that the sky was gradually covered with dark clouds. Huh. Butterfly stayed for a while, then tick, tick, the sparse raindrops fell to the ground and landed on her face. Here. Umbrella. Butterfly took the umbrella that Su Jin handed over in a daze, and watched him pass the umbrella to the confused Junju. Then, Su Jin also held an umbrella, and pinned two Zanpakusao on his waist, slightly raised the corners of his mouth and said. Follow me. As long as you follow me, we will be in front of you, and you will be invincible. Sparse raindrops fell. After the gloomy dark clouds overwhelmed the sun, the trial personnel who had been correcting during the day faced new challenges in panic or fear. The ghost is starting to wake up. One was lifted, fell to the ground, and roared. Immediately afterwards, a one-horned ghost emerged from the ground and said with a grinning smile, the sun is blocked. The ghost slowly pulled out its limbs from the ground, and then made a plop. Its head fell to the ground. What? The one-horned ghost looked blankly at his headless corpse thrown to the ground, with a puzzled expression. Immediately afterwards, a sharp pain from the soul made it unable to restrain itself from screaming. Ah ah ah. Amidst the screams, the body of the evil ghost dissolved bit by bit, like confetti burnt by flames. Clang. The sound of closing the knife sounded. Holding a parasol, Su Jin slowly put the Zanpakuto into the sheath, and stared calmly at the distance. If you get hit by the Zanpakutana, you will also die. Can any kind of spiritual attack be defenseless? While whispering, he sneered and said. Compared to the ghost species, it is too weak. Seven digits. Or eight digits that haven't been established yet, forget it, there's no need to waste time estimating the bug's rank. At this time, Butterfly Shinobi, who was following Su Jin with an umbrella, looked at the dissipated evil spirit with pleasure in his eyes, then turned his head and said. Don't you want a live body to do the experiment? Along the way, Su Jin has killed more than 35 evil spirits. Wisteria Flower, Sun Wheel Sword, Zanpakudo, Spirit Bow, Demon Endowment, Ghost Way, Empty Food, Gift of Fire, all kinds of techniques that are not there, and have never been heard of or used by Su Jin to kill ghost, it really opened the eyes of Butterfly Ninja. She never expected that there are so many ways to kill evil spirits. However, while surprised, Butterfly Ninja was also a little worried. There are only seven evil spirits left, can Su Jin really find a satisfactory experimental product? Hearing this, Su Jin turned his head and smiled at Butterfly. Even for experimental mice, healthy mice are needed. Butterfly understood. To put it simply, don't the previous Cillians have the qualifications to be guinea pigs? At this time, Su Jin was holding an umbrella, walking in the courtyard. Go ahead. The ghost in front should be the strongest one on the whole mountain. I hope it can satisfy me. Hearing this, Dai Dai reluctantly had an idea in his heart. I hope the evil spirits in front can be stronger and satisfy Su Jin. Zenmo, who followed the two, has been looking at the two silently. Intuition told her that the behavior of Su Jin and Dai Dai Ren was very abnormal, but she didn't have the slightest idea to stop it. As long as the two of them are killing ghosts, then to her, they are allies, and naturally there is no need to be vigilant. As for the trial Junjun, he looked up at Butterfly Ninja next to him. Dai Dai finally felt it, turned her head and smiled at her, then seemed to remember something, and asked Su Jin. Speaking of which, did we destroy the final selection this time? The evil spirits are almost wiped out, and most members of the ghost killing team survived. Thinking about it carefully, 
This year seems to be the rare year with the highest pass rate, right? But is this really good? Letting the alternate players who have not experienced much experience, skip the selection and become full members directly, will this kill them? At this time, Su Jin, who was walking in front, chuckled lightly. There will be no so-called final selection in the future. Hearing this, Butterfly endured the list. But then, she realized it. Yes, if all the ghosts were killed by Su Jin, the god and Buddha in the sky, then the so-called final selection would naturally be unnecessary. This seems to be the future she hopes for. After this conversation, the three of them fell into a brief silence. This scene lasted until the three of them came to a cave. It stinks. Makoto showed a rare uncomfortable expression. Butterfly Ninja was even more astonished. This stench, the ghosts in it, how many people did they eat? After the evil spirits eat people, they will emit a special smell, and the more they eat, the more obvious the smell will be. The evil spirits finally selected for testing were all captured by members of the ghost killing squad. Basically, they only ate one or two people before being captured and suffering. However, the one in the cave ate at least 50 people just because of the smell. Butterfly endured a drastic change in complexion, and said frightened and angry. How can there be such a ghost in Fuji Attack Mountain? Oh. A voice with a unique tone sounded. Amidst the dull footsteps, the evil spirits in the cave gradually revealed their lineup. It was a, twisted alien, with a green body and countless green arms wrapped around its body. Just looking at each other made Butterfly Shinobi and Zenmu a little nauseated, which shows how ugly they are. At this time, the, alien, came out slowly, and said in a strange tone. My hunting was obviously over last night, but today three people came to the door on their own initiative. What should I do? If I eat too much, it will be bad for me to be discovered by members of the Ghost Slayer squad. But if you take the initiative to come to the door and don't eat, it's a bit bad. The alien distorted for a long time, and suddenly saw the mask on Genju's head. The golden eyes suddenly opened wide, and then gradually narrowed, yes. Let's play finger guessing. The three of you play finger guessing, if you lose twice, I will eat it, that is to say, two of you can survive. So, want to play? You fool. Butterfly couldn't help but put her hand on the handle of the knife, her eyes spewing fire, obviously irritated by the other party. Next to him, Junju looked at Su Jin frequently, as if he was estimating the strength gap between Su Jin and the evil spirit. Then, she stood calmly again. Because in her opinion, Su Jin is stronger than this evil ghost with arms, more than one level stronger. Zero. At this moment, Su Jin raised his head slightly, but looked at the, hand ghost, in front of him and said. Your voice reminds me of a certain villain savior. It's a very close voice. Hand Ghost turned his gaze, but finally saw Su Jin, grinned slowly and said. Oh, so, shall I show you my throat? Good proposal. Su Jin clapped his hands, then said with a smile. You just said to play games, right? How about I play one with you? While he was talking, he took out props one after another from the gift card. Scalpels, pliers, chainsaws, high-frequency electric knives, chainsaws, and various props were taken out. At this time, Su Jin put on gloves slowly, and at the same time said to Butterfly Ninja. Miss Shinobu, have you ever had a craniotomy? Quote dot dot. No. Butterfly Shinobu shook his head. Hearing this, Su Jin was not surprised. After all, this was the Taisho period in the early 20th century. In this case, then you can help me. Okay. Butterfly Shinobi nodded very easily. Just to start with, she felt that she didn't have any problems. At this time, Su Jin smiled and pulled the gloves back up, and then said. Please rest assured, as long as you persist for two hours, you will be victorious, and I will send you to become a Buddha when the time comes. However, it is worth mentioning that during this period of time, even if your soul collapses, you will be rescued by me, please be prepared. Huh. Hand Ghost froze for a moment, but sneered. What nonsense are you talking about, you are the one who is going to die. Then, the hell that belongs to hand ghosts, began 6. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.